So, uh, we're in a reception area of Collindale. Uh, this is the place where donations arrive from clinics. This is the first stage where uh, donations need to be triaged for different processes. The next step uh, is to load donations into the centrifuge for the gentle spin. In that spin, there is a separation of plasma from red cells and the interface the middle phase uh, containing platelets. Once donations are spun, the operators take them onto the press and that look somatic press is where uh, the plasma is trans transferred under the pressure. So donation is pl placed onto this press. Under the pressure, the plasma is separated onto this bag with the uh, leukodepletion or removal of the white cells is taking place through the specific filter. Uh, at the same time, uh, the red cells are drained to the separate bag uh, with uh, again, uh, they prepared for later to be leukodepleted. The final step of that pod processing is to take the red cells and place them on the leuco card on the filtration trolley and to filter the red cells uh, as a component. The intermediate uh, phase is produced, so that comes from the main bank, um, and this is a kind of mix of uh, platelets which will be pulled and uh, together. Uh, there are still white cells here, and obviously there, there's some red cell contamination, so we can see the red cells being here, but they'll be removed tomorrow in the, in the, form of, uh, in the process of plated pooling. Um, the last element is the plasma. The plasma can be used as fresh frozen plasma, or it can be used as recovered plasma for medicine, um, and then used for fractionation. Um, so having all these phases, red cells, buffy coat plasma, we're preparing for labeling, it's gonna put, on, put them on the scales, and confirm their weight and the blood group. Eventually, at this, uh, having that done, we'll have a final unit of red cell uh, with, uh, with exact weight, um, and it will be placed in the cold room for um, awaiting uh, all the mandatory tests.